Are you contemplating your next TV purchase but unsure if you should wait around for the coming wave of OLEDs we've all been hearing about? In this video, I'm just going to try and offer a simple explanation of how LED and plasma displays work and in the process help you understand the pros and cons of each tech. Now, as you probably know by now, OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. It's true that this is just a slight variation on traditional LED, but don't let the acronym fool you. When I'm talking about display technology, the two are vastly different things. Now, if you know the difference between LCD and LED, you know that the LED and LED TV is really just a reference to the TV's backlighting technology, and that these types of TVs are really just LED backlit LCD displays. Now, LED displays are completely different. Rather than relying on an LCD filter to turn an individual subpixel on or off, LED pixels are independently lit, so they don't require backlighting and filters to function. Now, this is the, well, all well and good, and an OLED pixel is comprised of a thin layer of organic carbon-based compounds sandwiched between two electrodes. When electricity passes from one electrode to another, it excites the sandwich layer of organic materials, and through this, a miracle of chemistry and physics occurs. This causes the compound to emit light, and depending on which organic compound is used, it will emit either a red, green, or a blue glow. This technology has been used in smartphone displays for years, but wasn't utilized by television manufacturers until recently. Now, in comparison to LEDs, plasma displays work in a slightly different way. Instead of using organic light-emitting materials for each pixel, images on a plasma TV are created by ionized gas, plasma, that lights up when you run an electrical current through it. The easiest way to understand it is by thinking of the individual subpixel on the TV as a tiny neon light, or perhaps a miniature version of the fluorescent tubes you might be seeing right now. The pixels that make up a plasma display are almost exactly the same technology, just on a much smaller scale. Now for those of you who care to understand the science behind it all, here's how it happens. An electrode applies an electrical current to a small cell filled with a noble gas mixture. This excites the gas, ionizing it and transforming it into a plasma. The plasma emits ultraviolet light which we can't see, but when the UV light hits a phosphor coating that lines the cell, it causes the phosphor to glow and put out light that we can see. Depending on which particular phosphor the cell is coated with, it will create a red, green or blue glow. Now which is better? Well because plasma and OLED displays produce light through different means, the two technologies carry different features and shortcomings. To help you get a clearer idea of where they excel, I'm just going to provide a quick summary now. In the color, color gamut category, the winner is clearly OLED, it has a much wider color gamut than plasma and is close to the DCI movie theater standard. Brightness is also another victory for OLED because OLEDs can get ridiculously bright and win this category by a wide margin. OLED takes another win in its response time because it currently offers the fastest response time of any te TV technology in use today, making it a clear winner in this quad category. Now, viewing angle is a win for plasma because the few LED OLED TVs on the market right now are curved, which complicates things. If we were comparing plasma and OLED on flat displays, it would likely be a tie between the two because both technologies offer excellent viewing angles because they don't rely on LCD panels to block out light, but for now, plasma does take this one. Power consumption is a win for OLED as is thickness, but screen size is a victory for plasma because at this time plasma displays beat out OLEDs in terms of size because the only two LEDs on the screen right now are 55 inches. Lifespan is another win for plasma as is price because OLED TVs are just now reaching the market and they're really expensive. Now in terms of performance, OLED displays are definitely the superior technology. They're thinner, more efficient, and very, very color accurate. The only problem is that they're prohibitively expensive, and at this point I'm not sure how long their pixels last before the organic materials start to degrade and lose brightness. For this reason, I'd recommend holding off and waiting for the technology to mature before you buy an OLED disp display TV. But let me know which TV you prefer in the comments below, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!